Hi, we've been a lot of places in our RV. This time we're going to go through Amarillo, Texas to see Cadillac Ranch, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and we're staying overnight at a Route 66 campground and casino. We're going to see the Petrified Forest and the Grand Canyon in Arizona. to visit the Cadillac Ranch right outside Albuquerque, New Mexico. I take that back. It's outside Amarillo, Texas. Amarillo, Texas. Hey, sweetie. Don't go, don't bother. It stinks, man. It does? Yeah. It smells like straw. <laughs> Everybody's spray painting. Huh? Whew. Smell it. I it. do smell it. I think I'm going to have to get downwind. There are a lot of cars out here waiting to be spray painted. Finish doing it. Everything is spray painted. Trash cans, dumpster, ground. The road out there.
on Old 66. We're stopping at the Midpoint Cafe. Take a picture right that. outside Amarillo, Texas. On Old 66. landscape is starting to change here. It's getting a little more hilly. Going through Albuquerque, then on the other side, we see that there's an RV uh, campground and casino that looks pretty nice. So I think we're going to stay there. It doesn't look like there's too much, but desert after that. So we better stop while we can. The food there was really good. We had supper there and then breakfast the next morning. We left the campground this morning, but we had to stop at the travel plaza to get gas before heading to Arizona. We made it to the Petrified Forest, and we have to get our picture in front of the sign. The park contains a lot of fossils, both plants and reptiles. The Rainbow Forest is full of colorful, 
petrified wood. And it has many easy and more difficult trail access points. They have also found dinosaur fossils in a park. But everywhere you look, you see fossilized trees everywhere. The inside is very colorful and they look and feel like rock. Don't feel the urge to take a piece home. There would be a fine. It's crystals all out here with the petrified wood. Looks like wood, but it's turned into rock. Volcanic eruptions buried these ancient forests and covered them for, the, it says, millions of years and turned them into stone. Driving through the painted desert, the scenery is beautiful. Marty, the Crystal Clear Vacations mascot, got his picture taken. This 1932 Studebaker once tried to make it through the park on Route 66. Down from the overlook, you can see over 650 petroglyphs some as old as 2,000 years old. After the petrified forest, we're now traveling on to the Grand Canyon. We're here about 9 o'clock and we found a great parking spot. Walking down to the south rim at the Grand Canyon. Okay, Sam right there. Right here, sweetie. Hand over there. Walking to the rim. Oh, looks beautiful already. Let's take it right here. 
It's so far down. She turned it, it's so far down, I knew it was good. It's like, this is too bad. Oh, that's it. Yeah. We're like, this is like being in an airplane. Look, there's a trail over there. Yeah, and there's something like that. We should go on that. I would. I won't even think. You're not going on it either. That's too dangerous. Look at that trail. We're going on down to see if there's a different view at the other site where you can look over.
We took a shuttle back to the visitor center. We got back on the shuttle to go find something to eat. You can get on and off as often as you want, and it's free. We're at, it shows us right here, this one place, and then there's more. I got the whole thing right here. Look, yeah. we're right here. The Yacht Village has the dining hall, so if we don't want to the dining hall, then we need to go down further to either the Angel Lodge, which has the Fred Harvey Burger, or down to the Maspic Lodge, which has a food court. Well, let's go to the lodge. It'd probably be nicer. The Angel Lodge. This has a lodge, but it has a dining hall. Let's go see what is the dining hall. If it's not good, we'll go down to Fred Harvey Burger, because it's supposed to be good. Come on, guys. Hey, there is Easton's Monument. Kendall's working on hers, <coughs> and Jazzy is working on something. I'm not sure what. <laughs> oh. We ended up eating at the Masswick Lodge, and then we went down to the uh, El Tabar Hotel. This is the El Tabar Hotel grounds. It overlooks the Grand Canyon, so you get a different view here. One of the hotels on the rim. El Tavar Hotel opened in the early 1900s and sits right on the Grand Canyon South Rim. Great day at the Grand Canyon, more spectacular than we thought it was going to be. Now we're headed out of the park to see if there's a restaurant in the area. This is Williams, Arizona. It's about 10 miles from our KOA campground, and um, we're going to look around, see if we can find something to eat. We didn't know it, but they had a staged gunfight in the street. That was fun. They called out Easton because he was uh, standing up on something to see. And uh, the gunfighter remembered him later, so they got a picture together. We spent a couple of nights at the KOA in Williams. We got up in the morning and we're heading to Nevada.
will be on the next 